Tell me a tale, then you see the road I'm out to my soul and tell me the size Whenever the smoke clear out of my face And my picture perfect, or do I look fried? All of that green and yellow that drip from your eyes Is telling, tell your demise I'm with to my side to push back the ceiling And push back the feelings I had to the side I replay them nights and right by my side All I see is the sea of people that rile me If they just knew what Scotty would do To jump on the stage and say I'm a child of music all right, so I just saw Dune part two, and man, was it something. Now, I feel like nowadays it's hard to have successful and entertaining movie franchises like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, and Star Wars, and you know, all the, all the rare gems in the film industry. Those are pretty much the baselines when you want to try to build a successful franchise. And I feel like a lot of modern day franchises kind of fail or just end up being oversaturated and just get milked for all of its worth into spin-offs, TV shows, unneeded sequels, etc. But Dune, man, let me tell you, it is different. It just hits different, man. Now I don't want to get in. I don't want to get. I don't want to get too much into it because I'm gonna start spilling off and then start spoiling stuff for you. But it's one of the most beautiful movies I've ever seen and heard. Hans Zimmer, as you know, is the composer for the film, and and you already know he's he's just a legend. Just the score, the sound design. They're they're making they're creating sounds that don't even exist, and it sounds amazing. It's so fitting within the story, within the environment. It's it's great. The cinematography is amazing. Oh my god. Uh, like there's so many just nice cool beautiful shots that just make you go like oh damn yeah that's nice you don't even have to be a fan of the story to to appreciate the movie it, it's it's amazing please please if please if you're gonna see it make sure you see it in theaters please it's an, it's an experience like no other it's so wild how a movie can be so beautiful and it takes place in a fucking barren desert planet like <laughs> Uh, they really did that. I've been looking forward to it for the past two years. Yeah, it was rewarding. I mean, the movie was so good that at the end, when the credits rolled, nobody, barely any, there were like a couple people who clapped, but it was just straight silence. Like, like a minute or two, nobody got up. They just sat there and stared at the screen and just tried to process the experience they just went through. Cause wow, it was, oh my God, it was something. <laughs> And if and if you know what happens next, you know it's it's low-key kind of tragic. And that was pretty much implied by the end of the movie. Um, wow. Just a really good story overall, man. The performances were amazing. Cinematography again was amazing. Sound design, amazing. The score, beautiful. I'm sitting here listening to it because it's just like uh ah, something else. I wish I could like talk more about it, but I don't want to get into the spoilers. Please go watch the movie for yourselves. Give yourself a chance to formulate your own opinion on it. And uh, yeah, and y'all know where I stand when it comes to the holy war. I'm with Muad'Dib.